Good morning, YouTubers. This is Boynton Stu reporting on the latest version of the Amoeba cell. First thing I'd like to point out <coughs> is that the cell is over at the horizontal position. You can see the legs where I'm going to stand it up to the diamond position and show you that it doesn't make any difference as far as the current is, going to, is concerned. You can see that it's really bubbling away. There's my reservoir on the left and my bubbler on the right. There's my double safety hanging down. And there's my metamucilometer. I'm going to connect it up. Bango. Start the time. I've got 11 seconds to the, to the minute. There's 25. We're at 19.2. There's 50. That's 500. By the way, this is a very nice little cart that I have. It's an old cart that I found in the street. I put a front wheel on it. It's very handy. It's 750 liters, milliliters. And there's a liter. And that liter took 39 seconds at 19.3, 19 19.2 volts, not warmed up, uh, at 13.7 amps. Now I'm just going to notice the amount of fluid that's popping out of there at the horizontal position. Now I'm just going to go vertical. Notice there's less fluid coming out of the outlet hole and the current dropped just a little bit. Let's do another run in that position. And while we're doing that, I'm going to pick up the camera and walk around and show you my setup. This is the, shows you the amount of bubbles that are coming up in that snaffle container. Uh, the reason there's an extra container on the outside of the reservoir is to show if any leaks occur the bottom of that container would be wet. Going to the other side, this is our power supply. It's an MOT transformer, a fan. You can see the diode rectifier bridge. And there's my number 10 wire, which I use as an ammeter. One foot with the <coughs> two alligator clips. That's my setup. It's very easy to move in and out of the garage. Here we go again. We're at 18.5, 18.6. There's zero. Three, four seconds past the minute. 25, 250. 500. 75. 750. Bango. So it's a 13.29. It's a 13.29. I don't know. I'm, I'm a little lost. But at any rate, let's just flip it back to the horizontal mode. And as you can see, it really isn't very much of any kind of a change as far as the current is concerned. I found that a little surprising. Uh, 
I haven't figured out exactly what's going on. But uh, there it is for today. It's a very nice setup. These uh, stainless steel tubes are welded to the last plates. Very clean. Very easy to set up. This is using one thirty-second of an inch neoprene gaskets. One thirty-second of an inch. And have a